You want to know who had a turbulent beginning to their NHL career? Leas Anderson. He is, he is freshly signed property of the Montreal Canadiens, Leas Anderson. And in today's video, I'm going to turn over as many racks as I can and bring you all up to speed on this poor little puppy face right here. You see, in 2017, the New York Rangers really thought they were about to flex their muscles at the draft because they had not one but two juicy first round picks they had the 21st overall selection and decided to take shittles and they also had the seventh overall selection and decided to take swedish young forward leas anderson who they were all just cuckoo for coco puffs about at that time hey who do we got here who's this handsome devil oh that's jeff gordon and yes, he's inching closer to Leas to tell him all about Montreal. Now, to make a long story short, Anderson, he would have a lot of ups and downs from this day forward, literally. First, there was the incident at the World Juniors when he had a bit of a hissy fit and decided to toss the silver medal into the stands. Then he slipped on a banana peel at the Rangers home opener and finally, Despite scoring a goal in his very first NHL game for the Rangers, he would just have a miserable time trying to crack their lineup and stay into the NHL. Here's the evidence. I mean, it's written all over his hockey DB profile. Anderson kept bouncing around from the NHL to the AHL to Sweden. Look at that. Rinse, wash, and repeat pretty much every single season. Eventually, the frustration grew between Anderson and the Rangers, and when it reached a boiling point, they sent him to the LA Kings in exchange for a second round pick. Now, the Kings obviously took this guy off the Rangers' hands with their fingers crossed, okay? They hoped that maybe they could be the team that brought the best out of this young guy. But guess what? It didn't happen. No, nope, not at all. And last season, Anderson pretty much spent his entire time playing in the American Hockey League. Now, I do got to give him some credit because he did have a pretty good season. He put up 59 points in 67 games, which, you know, is pretty impressive. However, for some players, this kind of production just never translates into the NHL. <sighs> yes, just like Charles Houdon. So, obviously there's been a lot of drama surrounding this kid since he was drafted. I'm assuming that Jeff Gordon had a big influence in this signing. Gordon and his team definitely scouted the shite out of this guy during his Ranger days. Maybe he feels like he deserves another chance. Maybe he just really likes his character. I don't know. Gordon's side of the story. But all I gotta say is, I'm not expecting a whole lot from Leah Sanderson, okay? I I'm not. Which, believe it or not, is a good thing. Because if he does come in here and actually makes the team at some point during the season, or, you know, has a positive impact in some way, then obviously it's a good story. And if he doesn't, well, who really cares? It's a low-risk move anyway. The Maple Leafs got this one guy that's making like 17 times as much as Anderson. But anyway, that does it for this video. I hope it somewhat explained the trajectory of his young career so far. You can go ahead and let me know how you feel about him down in the comment section. Don't forget to high stick the like button on the way out of here. That would be great. And hey, I'll see you next time.